if you're a regular viewer, you remember this little guy right here. This is the 351 Ford Windsor that went head to head in an earlier episode against a 350 small block Chevy and the Ford won by like that much. You needed a micrometer to see how much it won by, but it was good enough to earn it a spot on this episode where we're gonna show you the power and tuning differences between a dual plane intake manifold and a single plane intake manifold. Now up top, we've got my favorite carburetor, the Holley XP series. This one's 750 CFM. And this is honestly another place where you could probably skimp in this whole program and buy something like one of uh, Quick Fuel Technologies carburetor. One of the lower end Holley double pumpers, you don't need the Super Trick XP, but we love it. As well as our one and three quarter inch hooker headers. Now we're gonna hang all of this stuff on the dyno, squirt some AMS oil into it, and once again, show you the nice sweet power curve of this Ford 351 Windsor. All right, this should be easy. I have a feeling it's going to run exactly the same as it did when we did the Ford versus Chevy showdown. I think that's the right manifold for the engine, honestly. The dual plane? Yeah. Oh, okay. Usually I'm a big tall single plane guy, but on a street engine, that's probably dual correct. Plane. All right, well, let's fire it up. We already have this thing tuned up. It is in the exact same configuration that it was in that last episode where we ran the Ford versus the Chevy. And so we're just going to re-baseline it here and see what it does. Okay, so we have a pretty happy curve here. We made 427 pound-feet at 4,100 RPM and a nice spread 2,000 RPM later at 6,100. We made it 430 horsepower and it's just a really nice curve. That hydraulic roller is just doing its thing. Yeah, the rollers have a nice curve, particularly when they have the right spring pressure and all that stuff's put together right. It doesn't really get much better than that when you look at that. For a really average engine, I think it's doing exactly what it should be doing. And when we look at the torque numbers and stuff particularly, it's exactly where it's supposed to be for this size engine. Yep, right down the middle of the road. So good enough. Let's go make more horsepower with a single plane. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't know. I, I think the RPM is hard to beat. This thing's going to make 450. <laughs> Sometimes when we're guessing what it's supposed to do, we're wrong. Oh, I'm confident this time. This time you're confident? I have almost 100% confidence. Well, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Swap that manifold. 